Okay, so let me show you how to get this working. Uh, I was right bottom. Okay, so the first things first, you're going to go here. And let me, you know what, I'll just make another Nightbot. <laughs> so Nightbot. Now this is going to be updated constantly. This is test five and whatnot. Um, so I'll have to update this as it as more different ones get updated and all that kind of stuff. But for now, um, so this is fly. We'll say flycast. Uh, a link. There we go. Okay. So there you go. So if you go there, this will take you here. Scroll to the bottom. It actually gives you a little bit of how actually how to get this working. So you can actually follow this as well. But what we just what I just got you guys was this thing here. Naomi Zip AW things and putting into the ROM folder. We'll get there. So this is all the things that included safe states, so yada 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 yada. So you'd go down here and you're just gonna click this second one, flycast DGPO tests five dot zip. Um, I guess if you want the source code in the binaries, you can if you want to mess around with that. If you're an actual software engineer, I am not. So you want to download that. That'll create this guy up here. You know what I'll do? I will totally just delete this and redo it on its own. All right, I'll actually redo this. So, okay. So what that'll do, that'll download you this little zip file up here, okay? Um, make sure you have, I have seven zip, use WinRAR, whatever you have to unzip it. So I'm gonna extract the files. Um, I'm gonna put it in its own folder. Okay, so we're gonna go into here, go to here. There we go. Now we have nothing in here at the moment. Um, so if we actually double click this, I think it will boot, but it won't give us anything. It'll just be blank, I believe. Yeah, you don't see anything in here and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so the next thing, where's my, there you are, link. The thing, first things we need to get is, so let me go ahead and grab the BIOS, which I also put a link, the two links into there. So. Like I said, you want to download these two things. Like I put, I put them in Google Drive so everybody can get to them. Go ahead and download that. We're gonna just put it in the desktop for now. We'll move it into the folder in a second here. Same with the Thomas Wave BIOS. Just gonna save it to desktop for now. Okay, so those are saved. So now these are these two zip files. We're gonna go into ROMs. You're just going to take these and just put them into the ROM folder. That's it. Okay. The next thing you need to do is for game. Now, this is only for CVS2. I don't know if this also works for Marvel and other games. I just know this works for CVS2. Okay. Um, in There is a link. Uh, I'll provide it to where you can get all these ROM sets. Um, let me. Do I actually have that in my Nightbot? I might not. I might not. What the hell is going on? Why can't I? What? Oh, that's why. I'm stupid. Because I can't actually can't roll that. Um, why can't I? I can't scroll that. There's, but I can't see the bottom. What the fuck? Stupid thing. Anyways, um, I don't think I have. Why can't I? Click on these. There we go. That was weird. Couldn't interact with my nightbot for a quick second there. Um. All right, I'll add another command as well. Just bring ROM sets link. Okay. So another link. Sorry. <laughs> so. Okay. So this will take you to that. That will take you to here. And then what you need to do is you need to go to here. You need to click on CVS2, and then you need to download this CHD. So it's GDL008.CHD. Go ahead and download that. We're going to just put it to the desktop for now. You can put it wherever you like. Just remember where you put it. And then you're going to go back up to the parent directory. You're going to scroll down, and then you're also going to download CVS2.zip. And again, I'm just going to do it to desktop just for now. It's not that big important, as long as you know where it is. So with the CVS2 zip, that we can just throw in. What we're going to need to do is going to then also create a new folder, call it CVS2. And then basically once this thing is done downloading this CHD file, we're going to throw it into that folder. And that's it. But I'll show you that in a second. And I'll show you controls and all that kind of stuff and whatnot in just one second here. 
Do 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 do. Okay, so now that that's downloaded, we're gonna throw this into the that CVS2 folder that we made. So basically, download the two BIOS, throw it into the folder. Download the CVS2 zip, also throw it into the ROMs folder. Download the CHD file, create a new folder, call it CVS2, and throw that in there. And that's it. Okay. So now with that, uh, whoop, we're gonna open this back up. So all those four things are in there. We're gonna open this back up. Hey, look at that! It recognizes it. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go into settings here, and then you have enable player name overlay. Uh, that's not there yet. That should be. Make sure the on Dojo. Make sure net play method is on GGPO. You can switch it back to delay if you want to. If like GPO is not GGPO is not really working for you, that's fine. You can switch it back to delay. We're gonna go to controls. I have a Quamba. Make sure it's set to port A for your controller. Make sure it recognizes your controller and that's set to port A. If you do want to play offline at home and like somebody next to you, this is where you go to like. If someone wants to play on keyboard, you change them to port B, and then the other person's on port A, okay? That's how that works. Uh, but at the moment, you don't have to worry about these. So then we're gonna go to map. We're gonna change this to arcade controls because it's easier to see. So start, click map. I mean, this is, oops, sorry. That's a, So this uh, basically, one, two, three, four, five, six is light, medium, heavy punch, light, medium, heavy kick in that order. So light punch, medium punch, heavy punch, and then we're up, down, left. Looks like that's already set there. Oh, don't forget to do coin because we are going to be playing on the uh, arcade version. And then medium kick, heavy kick. Oops. No, is that correct? Yeah. It's hard to see if it's aligned. My eyes are killing me. Oh, did I not do? There it is. Okay. And then this is light kick up here. So light, medium, light punch, medium punch, heavy punch, light kick medium kick heavy kick okay I think there might be a difference for certain sticks depending on what your heavy punch is like what your RB actually uh, goes to you might need to use like button five or six over here because it, it, it counts it as in like an analog so just be aware if for some reason like your heavy buttons not working try one of the, uh, changing it to the button on this side over on this side okay uh, make sure to click done uh, is there no save? I guess there's no, and then just make sure you click done. So we're going to just text it offline real quick to make sure button work. Oh, can you really? Oh, that's good to know. No, this will be very loud the first time you run it. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. The, right now, my computer remembers the setting, but this is usually really loud when you first run it. <laughs> just letting you know. And they have it set, they actually have a save state that they have it set to free play, which is kind of interesting. So we're just, like, you can hear the popping, right? We didn't work getting that in the online, which is strange. Could be that I'm running stream and the game at the same time, but I don't know. I might have to get the, um, the Dreamcast version running and see if that feels the same. Oh, come on. Aye. Trying to get that link. Uh, audio's fine, huh? So anyway, so that gets it running. Okay. So that's just make sure you check button. Looks like my looks like my. Let me double check the other buttons, but the button should be fine. Okay. Everything's good. Okay. So that's that. The next thing is, when you want to play online, you click host if you want to host, and then you double click the game again, and then this will do its thing, and then it will give you this match code. Now, you don't need Radmin open. I We just tested it with Bean Ninja, who's in the chat right now. You don't need Radmin. You don't need anything, but probably if you're not connecting with someone, maybe, do, maybe be in the same Radmin, maybe. I don't know. But this will create a match code. You can copy and then paste that, and someone connects to it okay and that's basically it the next thing that we'll see um hey being ninja can you um go ahead and join me real quick um just so i can show off what this shows 
I'll probably just post this straight to YouTube as a quick th as a quick thing. No worries. I'll edit it. I'll edit it and all that stuff. So. And if this is on YouTube, all the links will be in the description, by the way. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. So basically, you're basically it's what the old system of like you hosting and then someone needs to connect to you while you're hosting. As long as they have the code and they have all the stuff set up and they try and connect and they connect it should work. Um, but let me show you what it does when it does connect. I think on the opposite. OK, so there you go. So this is so somebody's connected to you now for me. I would suggest probably putting at least some sort of delay in there. We know how rollback works, right? You have a little bit of a delay that kind of has a little bit of buffer so that way it can try and catch the inputs. But obviously you can put delay zero if you want to. Obviously these kind of games run really fast, so they're not really designed for delay base for rollback netcode. Um, we did 80 ping, uh, what you guys just saw. Um, and um, so I, I'll show, actually I'll just show you what it looks like. So, and it looks like they go straight to I get. I maybe he stopped. Maybe he just connected and uh and exited out. But anyways, you saw it started. But I think he he just exited out. But anyways, so that's what you do. I suggest um doing to one. If you need to do more, you might need to do more delay depending how far someone is. We know how that works. Um, but obviously, the farther someone is, the more kind of skipping and popping you'll get. Um, uh, because it's trying to catch up, and all that kind of jazz. So. Um, I'm currently going to try doing one for now with like everybody and see kind of what that looks like um, just because I'm trying to keep the input simple and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's that simple. Um, currently right now, um, uh, like I said, it's not implemented into Fight K2 yet where you can just go into Fight K, challenge somebody, and this stuff will pop up. And this is where you have to run Flycast. You just give somebody a code. And they have to, and then they enter a code. So you have to be maybe in like a chat of Fightcade or in a Discord. Hey, you have this running? Cool. Here's here's my code and all that kind of stuff. And that's basically how that works. Um, but yeah, so that's that.